Y'all see my peas, how they look now that they're cooked? With that little bit of water's cooked out and Y'all see how that looks? Yummy. Y'all, I tasted it in and put it up, put a little bit more salt and uh, they're delicious. Those are cooked just right. Now, <clears throat> I'm fixing to fry me some, some cream corn or some skillet corn or whatever y'all want to call it. Some people say fried corn. Some people say skillet corn. This stuff is delicious. I do cut my own off the cob, but I get this at Brookshire's. And that's two, two packages. Just cut the end of it off and squeeze it out. Uh, if it's been laying out a little bit, it'll slide right out of that package into that pan. <clears throat> well, no, I need to find a spoon. So y'all know I have my room temperature butter. We're gonna put a little butter. And if y'all have bacon drippings or something like that, you can add that, y'all. I'm not. I'm just going to put butter in this. That's all I need. I'm telling you, it tastes so fresh, so sweet. It's so good. We're going to put black pepper. Or some of y'all, if you don't like seeing the black pepper, you can use white pepper. But y'all, it don't matter to me about seeing it. Then you just soft it to your taste. And we'll let that melt down there and taste of it. And ooh, that's going to be good with them peas. And I'm going to have some fresh sweet onion. And I'm going to make me some cornbread. And that's going to be my supper later today. We had the bacon grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. And Brinley thoroughly enjoyed it, y'all. I didn't even think to let her taste of it on camera. I always do that. Y'all, I was so hungry and ready to eat it. I was just ready to sit down and eat. I keep thinking I can break that in two, but it ain't quite got soft enough yet. You know, <clears throat> when I started thinking about, well, I'd show y'all how I do this corn, Y'all, I don't know that I've ever watched a cream corn video on YouTube. I don't think I've ever seen one. I mean, most of the stuff that I do, I've seen other people do it, you know. I'm just going to put that warm corn over that cold corn. It helps melt it so I don't have to stand here so long. And I'm tired. I'm ready to... I'm ready to get off my feet a little while. I need a break. <clears throat> but I wanted to get this all cooked so I could uh, let it be cooling so I could put it all in containers and uh, get my dishes and everything done so I didn't have to fool with it. Have to fool with it later today. Just kind of get it get it over with, and then I can just warm it up. I can just warm it up when I want to, when I get ready to eat. And I can uh, give my sister some. She'll be home after a while for her supper break from work. And I can give her some. Y'all go look at my video of my jewelry. Y'all, I got some pretty jewelry this morning. It was, it was a, I won it. It was a giveaway for referring customers on Facebook. I think that's right. 
I think that's how that's done, y'all. I don't keep up with that. I look at the page when I have time, but I don't look at that page every day. I don't have time. But uh, I did want to help her, so I, you know, tried to get people to join her page. I like to help people, y'all. I like for people to do well. And uh, she seems like she really enjoys doing that, and I'm, I'm glad she's doing it. You know, everybody needs something. Everybody needs something like that. Something, a craft or some, you know, give you something to do, something special. Oh, I can't wait to taste this, y'all. There's another brand <clears throat> that I find at Brookshire's and Walmart sometimes, but y'all, for months, I haven't been able to find this. I think I got some maybe back around the holidays uh, at Walmart, and they only had like, I don't know, 12 packages or something. But I can't find it at all at Kroger anymore. I don't know if they just don't order it anymore or what, but I used to get it at Kroger. But now, I shop a lot at Brookshire's lately. I just have better luck at finding things that I want and better prices, just like the cantaloupe, two for $3. They're $7 at uh, Kroger right now. And then this corn is, I don't know, two thirty dollars a package. Y'all, it's worth it. Do y'all know how much trouble it is to cut corn off the cob like this to get a pan full? That's a lot of work. And let me tell you, if I cook this right now and put it on the table, and my nieces, my son, daughter-in-law, and them was here, and I told them this stuff was fresh from my garden, they would not know the difference. They would not know the difference. That's just how fresh this stuff tastes. And I have mixed this when I've only had a few bags of my corn that I've cut off. I've mixed this in with it, uh, you know, to make a bigger pan to feed the whole family. And uh, y'all, they never know. I'm, I, I'm, I've never told them. I've never told them when I do that stuff. And let me tell you, they eat it up. We just got elbows flying and they are eating it up. Just elbows in the air, y'all, when they, when they get in here and get this kind of food. Because they don't cook like this at their house. My nieces has been wanting me to cook like this and then come over and eat. But y'all, I'm telling you, I don't know when you can get them all together. They always got something to do or going out of town on the weekend. And uh, I don't know. I may just try to schedule a, a Friday evening or a Saturday soon. I mean, the, you know, the kids have sports and some of them have to go to their parents, uh, the other parent on the weekends. And it's hard to get everybody together when it's like that. You know, and then my sister has to work on weekends and if you can get the kids. Well, she can't come because she's at work, so... I don't know how you get them all together anymore. I miss that. I used to cook for them almost every weekend. All of them. And then anybody that wanted to come, for come from church. But uh, I stopped because food got so high even before COVID hit. Like, food started getting so high, expensive. Y'all, I couldn't afford to buy enough, especially meat to feed a big group like that. Oh, man, I'm, I'm telling you. I wish my son was young sometime, but I'm glad he ain't when it comes to feeding him because I barely did it the first time. <laughs> I don't know how I would do it now with food the way it is. No, I just, I just stand in the grocery store and just look at prices. Like, it's just unbelievable to me. I just can't get used to it. I just cannot get used to it. I don't guess we'll ever have a 
normal again. I guess our normal is normal as we know it. Of course, it'll be for the young ones. This will be their normal, I guess. I'm just glad I grew up when I grew up. If I grew up long before that, that would have been even better. Would have been fine with me. When families were families and, you know, you lived in the country and lived off the land. And I know it wasn't an easy life, but, you know, y'all, they didn't know. They didn't have all the conveniences we have. That's what I was saying the other day. God provides and gives us what we need. Y'all, all this extra stuff y'all want, that's not a necessary thing. So y'all need, y'all think about that. I've asked y'all to do that in other videos. If you've got a house, you was out of the rain last night, and it's cool and it's warm and you're dry and you've got food, y'all are blessed. Y'all are blessed. There's many people in other countries that don't have any of that or they're being totally controlled by their government. And y'all, I don't watch news a lot, but on uh, on YouTube, sometimes they'll feed you little news clips. And I reposted on my Facebook about that little girl and her daddy getting shot. That little girl got shot in the face and her daddy got shot in the chest trying to uh, protect her because uh, the neighbor got mad because a ball came over in his yard because the kids in the neighborhood was playing ball. Y'all, who in the world shoots into the middle of kids and shoots the parent in the chest in front of the children over a ball going in your yard when children are playing? I'd be the kind of person that would come out and kick the ball back to them and play with them. Surely not start an argument and shoot them. So y'all, I'm telling y'all, the devil's demons are busy at work. I know y'all, a lot of y'all don't agree with that. But y'all, what other reason? And this was in a nice neighborhood. Very nice brick houses and very nice neighborhood. What's wrong with people? They gotta have some kind of demon in them. I'm trying to taste this corn. Mm, y'all, that brings back some childhood memories right there. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I'm going to get me some of these peas and get me some of this corn on the same spoon. Y'all see that? I'm waiting for that to cool while y'all look. Ooh, that's going to be good. My sister's going to be real happy. She loves this kind of food. Y'all. That'll make you do happy dance right there. Oh, that's good. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Oh, that's so good, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Don't forget to say your prayers. Be safe. Watch out for yourself because there's, there's a lot of crazy people out there, y'all. It's scary in this world this day and time. Thanks for supporting my channel and putting up with my nonsense. Thanks to everybody that has played those videos over and over and over and run this 4,000 hours up. I'm almost there. I just need some, I just need some more subscribers. But if uh, the Lord wants me to do this, those will come. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my peas and uh, fresh corn. I'm gonna make me some cornbread now. So y'all be blessed and don't forget to say prayers. Know you're loved.